Hello, in this video is going to focus on specifically control charts. So um, we just saw that we could get actually variable control charts on process capability six pack analysis. But what if you would like to just take a look at the control charts and there are various different types of them. If you would like to still do it in that way, you could. And for that, you have to go to stat control charts and remember, we do have different subgroups here. Therefore, we have to click on variable charts for subgroups. There are uh, different options, um, X bar R and X bar S. The only difference here is X bar R is going to use R chart and X bar S is going to use the standard deviation, sample standard deviation chart. Well, uh, to decide which one we should plot, um, we have to ask ourselves this question. So do I have a subgroup size of larger than 10, right? I don't. Um, therefore, I will have to use the X bar R chart. Um, if I do have a sub subgroup size or sample size of uh, N or larger number, then I can switch to X bar S chart. So this is going to be much more um, accurate representation of my uh, process uh, in that case. Well, I don't, therefore I have to click on explore R chart. There is a simple question at the very top that we have to answer based on the layout of the data. So it says that all observations for a chart in one column. In this structure, yes, I'll hit cancel. But if you are trying to plot your control chart in this structure, you will have to answer this question no, let me go back and then show you that there will be no difference. So I go to control charts, variable charts, explore R chart. Um, I might, all observations for chart are in the same column. The alternative would be observations for a subgroup are in one row of columns. In that case, you have to select the row of the columns. Um, but let me go back to the original one. And yes, so I select my values because I do keep my um, pain thickness level on the values column. Uh, if you select this one, you have to know the subgroup size. In this case, it is five. I just entered five here. And again, there are a bunch of different options here. I'm not going to explore various different options here and I will just click okay. Um, and this is simply going to give me the expert chart and my R chart, as you can look at the value. So again, let's take a look at this time, the lower control limit on the X bar chart. So the first one is the X bar chart and the second one is the range chart. A lower control limit is um, 93.23. And if you go to the previous one, you'll see that I got the same uh, value here. This is just a confirmation that these two charts are the same as these two charts. One quick thing about process control charts. Again, upper control limit, lower control limit that comes from my data for both the range chart and the mean chart. One quick thing to realize here is that all my blue dots, in this case, these are sample means. In this case, these are uh, sample ranges or subgroup means and subgroup ranges. Um, none of them is uh, below the lower control limit or above the control limit. So we can conclude that this process is under statistical process control. But again, we don't say anything about the process capability yet. Um, that would be one uh, that um, one of the way that you can generate the export chart and R chart. One quick thing to realize is that without even looking at R chart, just focusing on the X chart, we can't conclude statistical process control, or we can just like look at the range chart without even looking at the X chart. We can't just conclude anything about the statistical process control. We have to look at both charts and both charts should uh, tell us that um, the data is under statistical process control. If there is one, or couple more blue dots here on the range chart above the, let's say, upper control limit, but the X chart is just perfectly fine, we still conclude that this process is not statistical process control. It's not under statistical process control. Long story short, both X chart and range chart should be under statistical process control uh, so that the entire process 
it can be concluded as under statistical process control. Okay, that is important. Um, let's take a look at whether we can get the same charts if we have uh, this structure. Uh, in this case, again, let's go to the same menu, uh, control charts, uh, variable charts for subgroup, again, explore with R chart. If you have this structure, again, I'm not keeping my entire values in the same column. So it is observations for a subgroup are in one row or wrong columns. Um, then in this case, I have to select my observations, right? Um, and then I hit OK. Um, Minitab is going to immediately pick it up right, and it is going to give me the same X chart and R chart. You can check the values to confirm. 